Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More, and we are at the River House, as many of you know, and it was a very snowy, fun Thanksgiving weekend, and I just want to share some of the things we saw, which was pretty interesting, not just the snow, but tons of wildlife and some wildlife very close to us we haven't seen before, and of course, Dottie, our dog, had a ton of fun, and the kids had a ton of fun, but it's just been a very neat, relaxing place up there along the Big Thompson Canyon. The house is right on the river. We've got over an acre of land, and we've done a whole lot of work remodeling and fixing up this place. And yes, Dottie does like the snow. She's a golden doodle for those who have asked. But um, our land goes all the way to that bridge over there. And then the day before all this snow happened, we saw some very interesting things across the way. And yes, it was Thanksgiving, and the turkeys were out, as you can see them running around the neighbor's yard. Um, there's a big, I don't know if they're a flock or a, what you call them, but probably 15 to 20 turkeys that have run around this area since we bought here in 2003. And um, very interesting to see them. But I was actually able to get some fishing in, um, very cold, but I thought it might be the last time I get some fishing in. And while I was fishing, I was about to give up when I saw some very interesting animals across the way. And Ironically, that's right when I caught my only fish I caught. I was like, oh, crap, there are some really cool animals, and I've got a fish on. So um, got the fish safely back in the water, and not sure if you can see what those are, but we've seen them up the canyon before. I think we saw them once on the hilltop, but they are Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep, which are really interesting, um, fun animals, and not sure when you'll be able to see them, but they're definitely camouflaged. And I had seen them earlier, I was, you know, sitting in the in the house and looked up and said, oh, there's, there's sheep on the mountain. And we all went and looked at them and then um, went down fishing later. And then that's when I saw them very up and close and the closest we've ever seen them. And we even got some of them in action, which we'll show you here in just a second. But um, like I said, this was Thanksgiving Day. Um, very nice and relaxing up there. And very brown this time of year for sure until it turns white which it did overnight so after i caught my fish i um kind of ran up the hill a little bit left my pole and all that stuff down by the river so i could get over there and get close to them and see them and as soon as i got close one of the neighbors drove across the bridge scared them all away and they ran back up the mountain i thought oh i missed my chance but they came back again and another car came and they ran back up the mountain and they came back again. So they must really, really like that field over there by the lake. And I did get a lot of close footage and pretty neat to see them up close. And I'm not sure how dangerous or close I was or if they ever attacked people. I haven't really heard of that. But, um, you know, a lot of times you hear sheep are weak. These are not weak sheep at all. These are large, very muscular sheep with gigantic horns. And I turned the sound up just a little bit because I could not believe I got this on camera. And you can see I'm on the bridge. There's our house over there on the right. Here's the big Thompson River. And it looks much, much different the next day. I've got the same shot here. I'll show you in just a little bit. But I was just over here filming. And you know, I was within 100, 150 feet of them. Not too close. But I figured I didn't want to get too much closer to them. Not just because I might scare them away. They're all the turkeys on the hill. So, um, but uh, and had a baby Rocky Mountain sheep over there. But then I started watching them, and there's two. I assume they're big bulls that were much bigger and had bigger horns, and um, the ones with the smaller horns I assume are females. I haven't done much research on Rocky Mountain sheep, but um, one of them started to get a little bit aggressive, and I got on camera. Uh, you can kind of hear it, but not very well. But that's why I turned the sound up a little bit. Um, the river kind of overtook most of my microphone unfortunately but we'll watch this big guy here for just a second I think you could just barely hear that in the video, but it was loud in person. Um, I was watching it and it was a just hard to describe, but like two giant horns hitting each other. So, um, you know, you, you see that and you um, 
in the, on TV sometimes or on videos, but it's pretty cool to see it in person. And um, yeah, they hung out here for a long time, just a couple hours. And uh, I filmed them for quite a while. And I could see that they could see me and they were paying attention to me. And this guy started coming my direction, but then I realized luckily he just wanted a drink of water out of the lake. He wasn't that interested in me at all. So um, I let them be, I left them alone for a while. And then this is back over at our house. Um, that's the bridge I was on right there, kind of in the middle of it, maybe towards the end of it on the right. And then there you can see the sheep over there um, in the field. And of course, um, yeah, there's our house right there. And uh, I got a little close, but I survived. I ended up being okay. So, <laughs> and then yes, um, later on that night, that's when the weather moved in. And this is what it looked like the next day. So they were saying we might get three inches, 10 inches, hard to say. But um, that night we got probably around eight inches of snow. Uh, it's hard to tell in videos and snow always looks weird, but um, there was a lot of it. <laughs> and it, it snowed a lot of the day and then ended up snowing again the next night and morning as well. So um, this is just after the first night. It snowed probably another three to all of this and just beautiful up there. So different with the snow, obviously, not nearly as brown and the, the sheep were gone. Who knows where they go or where they ended up going, but we'll see them all up and down the canyon. Uh, they're in huge different um, stretches of the canyon. And I actually have some footage with my new cameras too of us driving down the canyon and what it looks like with all the snow. I'll show you here at the end too. Um, of course, like I said, the dog loves it. The dog enjoys it. We had lots of fun running around in the snow. My kids love it. Um, just a, a neat situation up there. And they always tend to get a little bit more snow up in the foothills than we do down on the plains where we're at. You know, they got maybe eight, 10 inches of snow up there. I think we got three to five inches down where we actually live. And here's the shot of where we were yesterday checking out the bighorn sheep a little different uh with the snow and weather and everything but a pretty neat area and that there's a little lake over there uh that house was actually for sale a couple of years ago sold for 1.8 million up on the hill and i have a previous video that goes through some of that house a very interesting house kind of choppy but a, a neat house still and again there's our house over there on the right and um river sure looks a little bit different and those are actually chunks of ice you see floating down the river. So it would kind of, the chunks of ice would go down the rapids, disintegrate back into water, then ice over again, then disintegrate, then ice over again. So um, kind of a, a neat little phenomenon there. Uh, it was pretty cold. It was about 13 or so degrees Fahrenheit that most of that day. And this is my new camera, as I said, and it's kind of cool too, because I figured out it has elevation and can tell you your speed, your incline, all kinds of cool stuff on it. I don't know how accurate it is. I, I tested it out with some of my cars, the Lamborghinis doing some acceleration runs, and it seemed to be a little bit behind because you could do G-force and miles per hour, um, all kinds of different things. So uh, I don't know exactly how accurate it is, but it is kind of cool for situations like this. You can see we're at 5,500 feet, not super high, um, but definitely a pretty decent elevation. And um, this is the highway that's right by our house. And then, um, cruising down through the canyon we'll show you what the canyon actually looks like here you go here's what the canyon looks like they call it the narrows here and this is usually where you see the bighorn sheep they're just climbing up and down those rocks and cliffs all the time so um it's pretty interesting drive back for sure definitely not going too fast i think we topped out at about 32 <laughs> because of the roads and ice and that's on the straight patches but it can get um pretty twisty um pretty slick in this area so i uh, definitely want to be a little bit careful driving down here but fun trip really cool to see all the animals cool to see the turkeys on thanksgiving i think they all survived we didn't see any casualties and um i never seen the sheep that close before probably caught our last fish of the year just because of the weather and and how cold it is i was actually surprised to catch anything at all and um we'll definitely be back up here still fun and i like going up there 
for the winter storms just because like I said they tend to get more snow up there I do like weather I do like the snow so it's a uh, need to be up there during some of these storms all right thanks for watching appreciate all the comments and likes and support I get for this channel and we'll have many more videos not just on this river house but on flips I have rental properties I've got businesses we've still got um, the liquor store we've got one laundromat open we're hopefully opening the other laundromat this week and other commercial property news I've got some sad news on um, some people or a person who's been in some of my videos before a little bit we'll talk about that here soon too and we'll be back with a lot more all right thanks for watching take care